In this video, we're going to talk very briefly about uh, sidewalk guy strut analysis. Now, starting in version 4.7, we had the ability to have multiple guy wires going over a single sidewalk guy strut and to do analysis on that strut. So, we're going to create a poll and we'll go ahead and we will put a span on that poll. And for the sake of our argument here, we're going to go ahead and say it's a post. And we're going to go ahead and delete. So we'll make it a dead end. We'll put two of them like that. And we'll guy the pole, but we will in fact set the guy to be a sidewalk guy. sidewalk guy. We have our strut diameter, we have our allowable strut load, we have our strut weight, and so on and so forth. And we'll go ahead and we'll move that down a little bit. And we'll take that anchor and we'll move it in a little bit like so. And all's right with the world. But now imagine a scenario where I have a second cable going from the same anchor to the same pole over the same strut guy or uh, a guy strut, and I want to know, okay, what is the result of uh, uh, the resulting load on that without having to do the math in my head? So I'll go ahead and I'll take and I'll copy them up here, and I'll take and move that down so that it's guying this other. Guying that thing, and it goes ahead and calculates for a second. done. Now, interestingly, you notice the uh, guys themselves are no longer overloaded because I doubled them up. But what is the result on this strut? So I go to my strut evaluation tool and you can see that although I have uh, two sidewalk guys, it has merged together the struts on the two sidewalk guys and gives me an aggregate value. So it, uh, if I look at guy number one and guy number two, um, I have the value of merge like struts set to true. Now, what that does is take sidewalk guy struts that are at the same height and at the same angle and have the same parameters and merges them together as long as the value is set to true. If I really want it to do them individually like the older system did, I can just say nope do that and now um, since it's done calculating and there we go I can say no I want to go ahead and do a strut evaluation and you see it's been split up and they've been split up individually and the amount of load applied has in fact been split out based on the, uh, the, the angles and the loads and the heights and so on and so forth so uh, that's a pretty interesting tool. It lets you perform a little bit more um, real-world type analysis without having to do the math in your head or on paper uh, of the sidewalk guy struts.